there we go that's a fish all right so let's go to amazon.com what i'm doing today is i'm gonna find the loot cheapest fishing lure on amazon and try to catch a fishing fish with it let's type in fishing lure search feature sort by okay a maggot grub for one cent but 6.99 shipping I think I can find cheaper than that. I'm going to count shipping as the price, too. There are several that seem to be about that same price, which is $0.99 cents with $3 shipping. Let's see if I can find anything that beats that. That comes out to $2.30 total. Put that in a new tab for now. One dollar shipping, so two dollars and thirty cents. And this, like, it's just a paddle tail. It's a funny looking, weird paddle tail thing, boot tail with a odd shaped jig head. I mean, I know that would actually work. I don't know how big it is. That's actually a nice looking design on the jig head right there. See, it's got a double bait holder. Thing that's in that's interesting. Okay. Okay. So if I find something that's got free shipping, that comes out to less than that, or a shipping total that comes out to less than that. So there we go. A dollar ninety-seven in free shipping. But that's kind of a similar thing. This weird-looking little frog thing. But I've used something similar to that before too. That also had a tail on it. One ninety nine. Oh, yeah. There you go. Family friendly. They're just swim baits. Oh, I mean, feels like kind of a waste of a video to use something traditional like that. Okay, there we go. That's a little bit different. Eighty pieces, red worms, soft fishing lure baits. I have actually used these before, but it was so long ago. I don't think anybody watching the channel now would even remember that. You know what? I'm just going to buy all of them and try to catch fish on all of them. So here is my cart. I've got these four lures. I don't The top two here, I don't know how many lures they come with. This one says two pieces. This one says 80 pieces. So at the very least, 84 lures for eight dollars and eighteen cents all right nine forty four total i've got a fifty cent gift card balance it's taking that off taking a fifty cents off so nine dollars and forty four cents place the order and now we wait for these things to come in Alright, now I'm going to try the spoon over here because I keep snapping off on those other ones. I don't feel like retying right now. Oh, I got one. <laughs> that, might, that is the smallest fish I have ever caught on a rod. Look at that, he's hooked in the mouth. He went after the spoon. That is insane. Okay, now that I got this thing out on the end of the rod, I can feel how heavy it really is. And that is ridiculous. It has absolutely no movement at all. 
it might as well be a hard body bait like the paddle is like it does not swim at all it just goes straight it doesn't move like all of that and i am not going to catch anything on this i can tell you that right now that is garbage There we go, that's a fish. It's not a bad one. Pull and drag on the ultralight here. There we go. It's a good, good looking healthy fish. On the swim bait. Hook good too. There we go. Nice looking fish. It's not very big, but he's solid. So there we go. That's the swim bait and on the spoon. I actually wasn't really expecting to catch anything today. It's so hot. The sun is just now coming up and it's been so hot lately that I just can't I can't hack it anymore standing out in the heat trying to catch fish so I'm out after it's been kind of cool all night coming out here I know there's a ton of sunfish that hang out around this tree over here so that's what I'm gonna try to catch and I'm using the red worms today Hopefully the water is clear enough that I can catch something because it's been raining lately. It, it rained like two days ago and the water the last since then has just been chocolate milk everywhere. So I'm hoping this area, because this area turns over so fast and clears up fast that I'm hoping it's, it's good by now. But it might also rain while I'm out here and I hope it doesn't because this is the floodplain. It doesn't take a whole lot of water to make it flood here. This is the area that's most known for flooding. Using the smallest hook I have. Down, like it's so small I'm not even sure you can see that. Uh, it's not the smallest hook they make out there. I mean the, a smaller hook would be even better. And I've seen smaller ones that would be great, but this is what I have right now. And I'm going to just basically wacky rig the worm on it. Throw this in the water. Okay. Oh, already got a bite. There we go. First cast. Got one. A little green sunfish. There we go. I knew this bait would would do this. It would get this kind of activity. Oh, there's another one. It's uh, another little bitty one. 
Oh, it's a different species. The other one was a green sunfish. Oh, this one took the whole worm. He choked it. This one I think is a red breast. And I don't, I'm throwing it weightless because putting a weight on there kind of distracts the fish. It keeps them from biting it a little too much. Oh, something took that. Oh, I got him. I saw him come up and grab it as soon as it hit the water. It's the biggest one so far. It's another red breast. So that's three fish already and I've been here for less than five minutes. And considering this thing weighs nothing, I'm able to cast it fairly deep, fairly far. Oh, I just missed one. Like that, that tree is probably 15 feet out in front of me and I'm able to cast out that far, which is, you know, impressive considering there's absolutely no weight on this thing. Okay, I got him. Man, he choked that one way down in there. They like this thing. This one's a green sunfish. It's a good thing I got a long shank hook. It makes it a little easier to get it out. The sun's definitely starting to come out now. It's a little overcast though, but now you can see this thing. I've got it set up. And you know what? If you're a, a pan fisherman, a bluegill fisherman, something like that, this isn't a bad lure. I would recommend getting these. They're cheaper than buying night crawlers. Uh, probably not as much fun as, as fly fishing, but I mean, you could probably use these as a fly. They're light enough, they're small enough. But uh, yeah, so uh, I can't remember what I paid for them, but it was pretty cheap and you get 80 of them per bag. So. Uh, oh, look at that. <laughs> as soon as that hit the water, he grabbed it, but I missed him. Now, as far as bass fishing goes, the... Uh, oh, there's a good one. Uh, fought like a good one. It's another little bitty one. As I was saying, as far as bass fishing goes, those swim baits are definitely the best deal. But these are the next best thing, clearly that weird looking spoon thing I had that, I mean, it worked, but it didn't really have very good movement. I didn't like it. The uh, bigger swim bait didn't move at all. And it's meant for like, probably for deep water, maybe salt water, which kind of gives me an idea because I still want to try to catch something on the, the jig head. So I'm going to take the, the body off, the swim bait off and put something else on. Oh, <laughs> that one I set the hook on him and pulled him up out of the water. It's definitely the biggest one of the day. Right, that's like five fish already on this thing. And I've only been here for like 10 minutes. If you're into catching bluegill and small pan fish like this, this is a good lure. It's like throwing a night crawler, except it lasts longer. It's more, it's reusable and uh, better value, a little cheaper. Then you get more of them. So it's not quite as effective, but it, it, it works. Now, if you're a bass fisherman, like I said before, that's swim bait. That's the way to go. Oh, I got one. Took off with it while I was trying to swat a mosquito. Oh, got him. He took that one aggressively. This is the biggest one of the day. Okay, there's one. Got him. 10 fish. Oh, and this one's, this one looks crazy. It's another red breasted, but for a second there, it looked like a sickly. I don't think I've gotten a clean release on any of these fish. There, oh, that one is running like crazy. Wow. 
almost looks like the same fish. Maybe slightly bigger. But he ran hard with it. None of the other ones have run like, like this one did. Eleven fish on one lure. Let's see you do that with a night crawler. Or even a Sanko or something else that you know is gonna catch a bunch of fish. Got him. There we go. That's another nice one. Oh, it's a cichlid this time. All right, that's species number three. Or four, actually. But say three different kinds of sunfish, and now a Rio Grande cichlid. And these are native here. They're the only cichlids that are native to North America. And they're native to the San Antonio area. Wow. 21 fish on one lure. I didn't have to retie once or change lures once. That's insane. So, uh, yeah, that was, I was only planning on coming out here and catching one fish just to prove that that lure worked. But it, they just kept biting. And I was here for, I ended up staying for about an hour and catching 21 fish. Uh, you know, I'm not even gonna bother with that other one, that big swim bait thing. Uh, it's got a good jig head. It's got a good hook. But that body, it just, there's no movement to it. Uh, it's meant for bigger bodies of water than what I have access to right now. Um, if I put a different swim bait on it, or I mean, maybe even the one that's on there, I could probably, maybe I go to like one of the big lakes, throw for reds or something, take it to salt water, throw for, throw out there. It would probably do okay. Uh, but here it's, it's not going to work. So yeah. Uh, the other three lures, I caught fish on all of them. I would not recommend the spoon. I mean, it's kind of cool. I mean, if you collect lures, maybe. It just, if it was a little bit longer, they do make some that are a little bit longer that work a lot better. And uh, they're not that much more expensive and you get more of them. So they, those would be a better deal. Uh, but the one that I had, it came with two of them. I wouldn't really recommend it. Uh, and of course the bigger swim bait, I would not recommend at all whatsoever. But the uh, small paddle tail, the white swim baits, the redheads, those and the red worms are, I'm gonna buy more of those. They worked fantastic. I actually caught more fish on the swim baits than what I showed. Uh, but I mean, I didn't, I just, I, I just caught 21 sunfish. How many more sunfish do you wanna see? Anyway, yo, thanks for watching. See you next time.